With this first step, I recommend you work on it right away because with your device in the wrong hands, access to your data in applications and websites is easy when the autofill feature is working. And we all know the benefits of the autofill feature on our smartphones which automatically fills in fields with previously entered information like name, passwords, addresses, emails and more without you manually re-entering them each time. This piece have tasks like logging into websites or online forms, so to add privacy to it, you can choose to be prompted to verify with fingerprints before the autofill works, preventing others from making use of the autofill. To do that, go to your phone settings, find Google, autofill, autofill with Google, preferences, and toggle on authenticate with biometrics before filling passwords. Again, I'm sure you do not like it when your friends or even parents have access to your phone and after doing whatever they used it for, they now enter your gallery and so for them to not come across some specific files, especially images you don't want them to see, you can hide them from being seen with just few steps and so for those files or images, just enter your file manager, find them and change their file extension to something different which you can remember. This way, these files won't be compatible anymore and will not appear in your gallery and you can always go back to change the extension to its original in order for them to come back alive. Still on privacy, here is a WhatsApp hack you should know if you are a more privacy conscious person which I'm sure you are. Go to your WhatsApp settings, to privacy, advanced and toggle on protect IP address in calls. This is a feature WhatsApp added late last year which prevents others on the call from seeing your IP address in case they try tracking. Adding more privacy and security to your account which has been WhatsApp's mandate lately. And in the privacy section still in WhatsApp, you can lock the entire WhatsApp application and unlock it with your fingerprint which is also a feature found in the app itself. Again, go to your privacy settings and find app lock. You can choose how long before the app locks after closing off from it, whether immediately which will request app unlock even a second after leaving it or after a minute and also 30 minutes. Away from privacy but still in WhatsApp, check out this one. Sending media files through WhatsApp was a bad experience some time ago since the quality will reduce until sending in HD came through in which you have to select every time you are sending an image. But you can take this further by automating this process, just go to your WhatsApp storage and data settings and then media upload quality and select HD quality. And with this, your images will already be in HD when you attempt sending them without you taking them manually. Your friends will thank you for this next trick. You know, forcing someone to sit through longer minute videos on YouTube while the best portion doesn't even start until the halfway mark can be enough to make them give up and impatiently close the video out of frustration. So to avoid this when sharing a YouTube video to a friend, use this trick. Copy the video link and paste it and add these three characters plus the exact timestamp to the link. This means when your friend clicks on the link, the video would not start from the beginning but rather start from the exact time you added to the link. So if you want the person to start watching from let's say 3 minutes and 10 seconds of the video, just add and t is equal to 3m 10 seconds to the link and when clicked on it will start from the 3 minutes 10 seconds mark saving a lot of time. This is a really cool trick you should be using. Still on YouTube, you can have a preview of the entire video you are watching in case you want to jump to a specific part of the video. Simply swipe up from the progress bar, this brings up a preview and you can scroll left or right through the entire video. This saves a lot of time forwarding or rewinding. Here is an easy way to download audio from a YouTube video straight to your phone storage with this free and open source app called Seal installed on your phone. Just copy the YouTube video link and paste it into the Seal app or share it with the app. In the download configuration, select audio and proceed to download and choose the preferred audio format and after a quick loading, the audio will be downloaded onto your phone. So you can save music, podcasts or other motivational videos as audios and listen to them offline. You must try out this next one if you are a big time Telegram user. You can have different Telegram themes to enjoy your experience with the app more aside the default color themes the app comes with. To do this, download this app called Thema. And once you open it, you first select your preferred color, go on with the other settings, you have a preview of what you've created so far. You can also create it in light and dark mode, tap on create once you are done, share it on telegram, then tap on the three dots on the theme file, select apply theme file and apply. And you can always go back and create different themes from the Thema app. Last but not least, you can easily copy text from pages that this allows you from copying text like captions on Instagram or any application you cannot copy text from or even text on photos. With the help of this simple application called Universal Copy, once installed and enabled, 
you have the normal mode and the scanner mode. And on any screen you would like to copy text from, you just select the normal mode and copy text from the highlighted screen. And on images, you select the scanner mode which will scan the image and highlight any text on it for you to copy. Leave a comment and let me know which of these tips and tricks you liked the most and also comment some of the tricks you use daily. Check out the previous tips and tricks video on the channel by clicking on the card at the top right corner. And if you enjoyed the video, kindly consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like. As always, thank you for watching.